you're just joining us. This is a confirmed tornado on the ground now approaching the community of Reform, Alabama, right there along Highway 82. He was up at 4 a.m. to catch the snow. I probably should have been. I'm a big snow geek. I'm really upset that I missed this. You know, I had a potato yesterday, so maybe uh, we just potato twins. I mean, <laughs> I will do I will do like a baked potato mm -hmm. with all the fixings on it mm -hmm. with a side of French fries. I feel and people that. always call me out and, and I'm I, like, Look. Officials now saying a dam break is not immediately imminent, but it's still possible, and this is the area that would be flooded. Here's downtown West Point. These purples and pinks, this is very heavy rain. You saw that truck drive through there? A little bit of water on the roadways. If you're going to barbecue and your grill looks like this, I'll be right here tomorrow, so bring some down to downtown Columbus. I would love to taste test your food because, I mean, just look at that. That will make you hungry. Think about this as the radar is saying there is a 60% chance of a tornado being on the ground occurring right now with this storm. Now, if you go to WCBI.com, we've got this story here, how to prepare for severe weather. And watch right here at the end, a really nice sunset taking shape right over downtown Tupelo. Lots of sunshine and blue sky out there. And I actually asked on social media for you to send in what you did today to enjoy the weather. And that puts us on the eastern side of the storm. That means heavy rain, gusty winds, and the potential of an isolated spin up tornado. This is generally moving off to the north and east. So this would put it near the community of reform and eventually up toward Palmetto and Ashcraft Corner in the northeastern portion of Pickens County. This combined with the warm air rising from the surface allows those familiar puffy cumulonimbus clouds to bubble up. We look in the area between the warm front and the cold front. We call that the warm sector. That's where the most unstable air is and that's where any strong storms would form. Your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. Well, the heat and humidity out there today certainly making it feel a lot like summertime. And if you're not a fan of it like most of us are, unfortunately, we're not going to get a break anytime soon. The muggy air sticking around and all that moisture is going to help us to have a few pop up showers and storms through the afternoon. Otherwise, I think we'll see a few peaks of sunshine for the next couple of days, but we are going to track increasing rain chances by the time we get to the middle and end portion of the week out there right now. There is no rain. We are dry right now in downtown Louisville. We are seeing clouds starting to filter in, though. Uh, you see that on clouds and radar. This bank of clouds slowly making its way in from Arkansas. We've actually got uh, a little bit of a disturbance back there. Some isolated showers uh, just getting ready to come through areas north of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. That is not going to make it to us tonight. That's going to stay off to our west, but the cloud cover continues to filter in here. We're still 78, a muggy 78 at that in Columbus. 80 right now in Tupelo, 79 for us in Corinth, 78 in Vernon, 75 for our friends up in Hamilton. Overnight tonight, as I mentioned, I think we're going to stay dry. The clouds going to continue to pass through here. We'll target 72 for the low, but the humidity going to stay up, so it's going to be one of those muggy nights. Just a light southerly wind anywhere from 3 to 5 miles an hour. Tomorrow, I think we'll be a little bit warmer than we were today. I'll say 92 for the high. A mix of some sunshine and clouds, kind of like what we saw today. But it is going to stay hot and humid, and that humidity is going to help to increase the chance for a few, a few pop-up storms. We'll keep it at about a 30% shot, so not everybody going to see rain tomorrow. Uh, but don't be shocked if one of those storms happens to pop up near your location. Here's future clouds and radar. I think we'll wake up to a partly cloudy sky, but by the time lunchtime rolls around, say noon or 1 o'clock, there you see a few of those isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder popping up. That continues through about 4 or 5 o'clock, but I think generally going into the evening, we're going to be dry. Uh, cloud for the most part stick around, but a few peaks of sunshine through the day tomorrow. Some of those stronger storms could potentially bring some gusty winds and small hail over the next few days. Generally not a major severe weather concern, though. What you are going to notice in addition to the pockets of rainfall is the humidity really staying up. Here's a look at the comfort index. This is the measure of the moisture and the mugginess in the air, and we're going to be anywhere from muggy to miserable through the next couple of weeks. That's really the only way to explain it as those temperatures continue to warm up. Heat index values with all that humidity humidity could be close to 100 degrees at times. Here's your Echo Weather 7 day forecast Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Not everybody going to see rain, but there will be some pop up storms, maybe a shower or two around better rain chances for Thursday and Friday. And then looking ahead to the 4th of July weekend, some more chances for pop up storms uh, in the area. Heat and humidity sticking around though. Highs close to 90 for the next seven days. Overnight lows in the low 70s.